you know, you've been around the sport a very long time. You've been around veterans. You've been around uh, young quarterbacks. You've coached them both. Um, Philip Rivers, did you learn anything about him that you didn't know? Have you picked anything up uh, about Philip that you did not know over these first 15 weeks of coaching him? Frank? I mean, yeah, just getting a, ch- a chance to coach him for three years in San Diego. Right. You know, knew what we were getting, knew okay. what we were getting here. This guy's just an elite quarterback in this league, and he can do everything. Um, he can make all the throws. He's a coach on the field. He's a great leader in the locker room and on the field. He's just a great competitor. Still has, you know, the, the question is physically at 39, can he still do it? And the answer is yes, and he's proving that. Well, what about that foot What that everybody's talking about? I know you don't probably like talking about injuries. Yeah, it's, and I know that, but... it's getting better. I mean, it was pretty bad. You know, the first week that he played on it, it was still pretty bad, but it's getting progressively better. Is he 100% yet? Probably not, but it's gotten better each week. Frank Reich here on the Rich Eisen Show. And what about this young running back that you, you appear to be saddling up a little bit more in Jonathan Taylor? Uh, walk me through his progression this year. Yeah, he's just a, he's a special kid, man. I mean, anybody that you just talk to this guy for five minutes and you're like saying, is this guy for real? Um, he's just a great teammate, great human being, great competitor, um, accountable, just hard worker, learner. And then he's just super uber talented. He's big, strong, and fast and, and smart. So he's just gotten better and better as the year goes on. And um, so, yeah, we're starting to feed him a little bit more. But, you know, if you watch our offense long enough, you know that, yeah, he's going to get his touches. But Naheem Hines is a really good back. And right. Jordan Wilkins, you know, coming off the bench, we got a lot of confidence in him. And, you know, we like to spread it around. And obviously T.Y. Hilton appears to be coming on strong. It, 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 there seems to be some sort of connection with him. In particular, obviously, there's so many other receivers that you have with Phillip that the two of them are sort of on the same page. Was Is that an accurate assessment for you? Yeah, no doubt. And and it is, you know, he had a couple games early on where um, he could have had some breakout games. We, we had a couple uh, freaky things happen where, you know, penalties that were called, you know, he's got a big catch and he gets called back. And, you know, a couple games that might have been close to 100-yard games, but so that the big bigger production hasn't come until in recent weeks, but um, man, he's you know he's late in the it's late in the year and he feels like he's running faster than he's run all year. Um, he still is an instinctive route runner. He makes a big time clutch play, obviously in the game, you know, on second and twenty, you know, down the middle in a game winning drive. So um, he, and he's a great leader. I mean, you know, he's just one of the best leaders and teammates I've ever been around so I mean it seems like uh, things are obviously trending upward things are are, I'm wondering what it feels like for you you've been around championship teams you've been on them you've coached them okay I mean what what does it feel like with you right here I know you don't want to also state um something that could be bulletin board, board material but what does it feel like to you with this team in its current standing with two weeks to go here and championship hopes. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. I mean, we, we haven't done, we haven't, we haven't accomplished anything yet. I mean, we get, we, we put ourselves in. I should say it this way: we put ourselves in good position to play meaningful games. We're still playing meaningful games. We're not in anything yet. We got to play well this week. So what you do is you keep a healthy tension. What it feels like to me, to answer your question specifically, what it feels like to me is it feels like a healthy tension. It feels like we're in a locker room of guys who really believe we're good. But it also feels to me like we're in a locker room where guys feel like we got to work our butts off every week because you got to prove it every single day you're out on the practice field. That's 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 what it feels like when you're on a good team. And certainly, since it feels like a double-digit win team's going to be left at home uh, in an eight seed outside looking in, even in an expanded playoff. Yeah, the, there's no doubt it's going to happen. Um, and so that's why you know we got we got to keep pressing. I mean, there's nothing given to us. We we can't take anything for granted. We have, you know, an opportunity this Sunday that's against a really good football team. And, you know, we got to we got to play our best game of the year. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.